Well, it's been a little while since I put a video out, and that's because I'm working a lot at my regular job, and it's deer season, and in my free time, I mean, if I'm not hunting, I'm tracking. I'm mostly tracking. I haven't hunted in like three weeks. Anyway, I wanted to show you all these three tracks all in one video. They're relatively short, each one of them. But I wanted to show you guys these tracks because I'm proud of the way Cali is performing this year. So let's run over these three tracks and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of narrate it and point out things that she's doing, things that I'm reading from her. And pardon my hoarse voice, <laughs> I've been working a lot at work and it requires a lot of talking, communication, and so I'm a little, a little hoarse right now. But let's jump into these tracks and you get to see what I'm so proud of. On this first track, the hunter made what he thought was a lethal hit. He has a friend that's training the dog to be a tracking dog, and he decided to call him up, see if he'd want to run his dog on it and get some more experience. Long story short, they couldn't come up with a deer. The tracker called me up to see if I would run Cali on it to you know, basically check his work or see if we could come up the deer and, and try to figure out what went wrong. Anyway, took Cali up there, started her at the hit site, ran her to last blood, and then from there we were on our own. So you think last blood's right here? Last blood, there were, there were two small drops of blood right inside this woods. All right, you just and that, wanna, and that was it. you just wanna hang out right here, sure. and I'll let her roam off, and okay. I've got a couple hours, I got a couple hours to track if, if need be. And I don't see any blood yet. Callie's checking her work right here. She realizes that she doesn't smell the scent of that deer on down the trail, so she backtracks and then she picks it up going to the right. barks like this sometimes it can mean we jumped a live deer or or a healthy deer was bedded here recently and she's picking up a lot of scent but it can also mean that the deer we're after was bedded in this area and left a lot of ground scent and so she's excited she's trying to figure out where the deer went from here nope don't bark She's trying to work something out here. I'm gonna let her keep working for a little bit. Who knows, maybe it was bedded here temporarily.
twist an ankle. Yeah, we just went by a bed. I didn't see any blood in it in the, the little time I could see it. So maybe it was yours. We'll keep on going. Hey, we found her. You can, you hear me? Yeah, we found her. So on this track, the hunter hit the deer far back, like hind quarter far back. He actually thinks he hit it in the leg bone and didn't get much penetration. Odds of recovering a deer hitting the leg bone unless you hit an artery is basically zero. And I explained that to the hunter, but told him we would run it if he wanted us to. He wants to rule out that the deer is out there suffering, wants us to come on up and track this deer. So we head up and we're gonna put Callie on the only blood drop, which is last blood, the only blood that the, the hunter found as the deer entered the woods. Find it, girl. Find it. Be barking. She got her head up, wagging her tail. Good job, girl. As you can see, the arrows in front of the hind quarter got into the guts. Good job, Callie, finding this deer. And kudos to the hunter for making every effort to recover this doe. So in this last track, hunter shot the deer in the guts, tracked too soon, ended up pushing this deer about 450 yards to a marsh and lost blood. Technically, he didn't lose blood. He just had blood going in multiple directions and he couldn't figure out which way the deer actually went. He did hear a sound from the woods to the east that he thought came from the deer he was tracking. So he made a sweep through the woods looking for the deer, came up empty handed, so he finally backed out and called me and Callie to the scene. Alright, here it looks like it bedded right here. Or did it? Did it bed right here? We aren't sure the events of where it took place because there's there's a patch of blood right here. Yep. Come here, girl. Pretty thick stuff. And then there's just on the other side of this little tree here. All right, you okay. just want to hang out right here, and yep. I'm gonna I'll just let her range range, range out, mm -hmm. and hopefully she can pick it up on her own, figure it out. Where'd you hear those moans at? Somewhere back, we sat more along the, the big trees over yeah, behind us. Yeah. In the morning was still, but it, it's only keep from a, it was like that was a hollow. Okay, let's see where she takes me and I'll, 
I have my walkie talkie so we can talk. Sounds good. She seems to be acting right, but, she, but she's trying to work it out. Did y'all search this marsh pretty good, or, or how'd y'all search this area? I'm talking to walkie talkie, please. We did walk back there once uh, and did a loop around to see if we could see anything. All right, she's working me back towards the woods now. Let's see what she does. Let's see the blood. And I think she knows what she's tracking. She's just trying to figure it out. She's checking each trail. So I got blood right here on this trail we're on, going back towards the woods. Okay. I don't know if it's blood you guys found already, but I'm gonna just trust her and keep following her for a little while. Yeah, if she keeps going towards the woods, then you guys start going left a little bit, then then that's where the original trail was. Oh, we found it. Oh, it's got to it pretty good. Good girl. Three tracks, three recoveries. Fantastic work by Callie. Proud of what she's doing, and I'm looking forward to what she's going to do the remainder of the season.